Leviticus 18.22. When humans are translating a book that is supposed to be a heavenly guide, you best believe they're going to use their own biases, even if not on purpose. They're human. Biases, <clears throat> personal biases aside, there are so many translations on that one verse. And you have to question the validity when something is so <clears throat> controversial. The King James Version, man shall not lie with another man as with a woman. It is abominable. The NIV, you shall not lie with a male as with womankind. It is detestable. And then you have translations like homosexuality is an abomination. I'll tell you right now, the word homosexuality was not a thing until the 19th century. So right there, those translations, no. So to translate something in another century from ancient times, you cannot use modern words because it doesn't fit. Just like I was saying about the word sin. So homosexuality doesn't fit. That's just out of the question. But man shall not lie with another man as he does with a woman. That seems pretty straightforward. But when you take it back to the, the ancient text, the original written word, it's, it is you shall not lie with a male as you do with womankind. So then you have to look at what the word male was used for. And it was used to describe younger men or men of all ages. So there it's talking about molestation and they compare it to as with lying with womankind because that's how it's done. You don't do what you do with women with children. Another verse that... Christians will use saying that the Bible is disgusted with homosexuality is in Leviticus when they're talking about Sodom and Gomorrah. So I'm going to take a little side trip here and remind you that we are also told by the translations of the Bible to not have sex before marriage, right? So keep that in mind. Remain a virgin remain pure until marriage. So in Genesis, when they're talking about Sodom and Gomorrah and the two angels come to visit Lot before they destroy the city, the, the people of the village were surrounding Lot's house and demanding that he send the angels out so they could have their way with them. And again, this is all just translation. I have not looked into the original text yet even on this, but it's because I understand it already, but I'm still going to. So Lot goes outside trying to protect these, these entities and tells these men who are drinking and violent and all these things, I have two virgin daughters let me send them out and you can do anything you want with them, to them, instead of these two angels. So, so after that, the angels decide to spare Lot and his family. So they spare him for offering their virgin daughters to violent sexual corruption. So Leviticus is talking about ins or, um, molesting children. Genesis is talking about sexual violence.
you know that God in Genesis, where he says he created man and woman, that is not anything to take about homosexuality. Just because he created man and woman, he says nothing about sexual orientation. Nothing. And he also states in the Bible, God makes no mistakes. Poop that. I'm back. So if you read that correctly, God spared Lot and his family for trading one sin for another. Not only should we put everything into logical perspective in our minds, we really should question and research. Because you can't take our current Bibles word for word. Like, it's not a thing. It's just not, it's not possible. Even if someone has the absolute best intentions, but they don't a lot of the times. So when the Catholics decided to t take Christianity in a certain direction for power and money, they had these scholars translate the Bible. And man shall, shall not lie with a male of any age as he does with his wife. And when we see something in someone else that we don't like, why is that? It's because we see something in ourselves that we don't like. So coming from the Catholics who decided to stop the relationship between God and man and make it getting through the priests and the Pope to get to God, they gave their lives to God. They became celibate. And what did they do? Clearly not all of them, but it's a thing and everyone can admit that. They lied with another male as they would with their wives. So when they're telling us not to do that, because they hate it. When they're seeing that, they hate what's in themselves. So the power and control that came from Christianity also hid very dark secrets, desires, and untruths. Do not judge. Yet, every single Christian, please judge the homosexuals. It, you guys... It's not the way we were taught that the Bible translates. How we were taught that the Bible reads is part of the programming. It's part of the, the elite. Jesus was a good man. He was an enlightened man teaching us how to get to our universe, ourselves, go within. Those that that go within and believe inherit the kingdom. They see what's real. They find out who they are. They are no longer under programming. They are no longer a slave to the matrix. They're free, eternal life, love. Staying here and reincarnating and without awareness, you are not free and you are living in eternal hell. Just read, read, read the Bible if you haven't and just look up your things. Just look it up. Don't take this for real translation because it's not and that's the thing. We all know that. And ask your higher self.